Hi everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. This is some black and white paper that's coming out in the new annual catalog with Stampin' Up! Uh, May 3rd, 2022. It's called Perfectly Penciled. And you know, we've had several packs of designer paper over the years that is just all black and white prints for you to color, or you can leave them the way that they are. And on the other side, black and white patterns, just the reverse. So I'm gonna show you a few tricks to leave some of the images white, and it might include using deodorant or a candle. <laughs> Stick with me. So this first one is coloring the, the recesses, and it's really easy to use your alcohol markers, but it can be kind of expensive because this takes a lot of coloring. And the watercolor pencils are so nice for this because they blend really well and you just use a light hand. And I like to do like a little cross hatch. And you don't have to color absolutely everything in, but you're just gonna kind of lay down the color lightly. You don't wanna press too hard. This one happens to be Bermuda Bay. And you're just gonna color every place that you don't want any color. So these are blender pens. We still sell them. They're a pack of three for $12. They're the same on both ends. They just have like a, a clear a glycerin formula in there. So you can pick up ink, you can use it for different things to blend. They're better than just water because they don't get the paper as wet. And they'll blend the pencils, the watercolor pencils. Regular color pencils won't blend like this, but the watercolor will. So just kind of come in and scribble and blend all those lines. And if you like to color, it's kind of relaxing. And then you end up with something like this. And in this particular case, I went in with a yellow pencil and colored all of that in. And then I thought, well, let's make it a little more interesting. So I just cut the paper diagonally and stuck it on a gray card. And before I did that, just to give it that all over shine, which kind of looks like lacquer, I took those three pieces and added some Versamark ink all over the whole thing, clear embossing powder, heated it with my heat tool, and that's what gave it that shiny look. But of course you don't have to do all that. It's pretty just the way it is. But that's how I got the flowers to be white. Now, let's go to this one. This is a little different. We're gonna mask off the edges and add some color just in the middle. And we're gonna omit this part and we're gonna mask this out right here. I like to use grid paper, or this happens to be the deluxe foam mat that actually goes with the Stamparatus, but you can still buy them. They're $6. They're great because they're cushy, and I can just wash this off. You're going to want some painter's tape or some masking tape. We actually have some masking paper coming out in the new catalog, but I can't get it yet. But I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the back, and I love this grid for kind of keeping everything nice and straight. This is a layer that's about four by five and a quarter. And this is the painter's tape, but it's the low tack. And even then, you really wanna make sure that you take some of that stick off. Now, if you go right to here, to the edge of the card all the way around, that's about an inch, which is quite a large border. See, I tried that on this one. It's almost just too small. So I'm gonna go in one, two, three squares across this way. And that's why I like to use this grid. So that's gonna be about three quarters of an inch. Again, and I'm gonna take off some of the stick. <laughs> you really put it on your jeans, whatever, just take off a little bit of stick. I'm gonna count one, two, three squares, line up these lines right there and work my way around. Same thing, three squares, three quarters of an inch on all sides. The most important thing is to get this inside edge nice and tight. Don't worry about this as much because we need to be able to peel that off. If you wanna sacrifice another piece of paper, you can cut that out and put a little bit of this Tombow Multi Glue on the back, smoosh it around with your finger, let it air dry, and it becomes tacky and you can do this. If you don't have this paper, just stamp any of your flowers with basic gray ink or a black ink and make your own black and white paper. That works too. And then you can just stamp your flower and cut it out. In this case, 
I cut it out of another piece of that designer paper. It'll just, I can use it over and over again. So we can do that and cover it up. So that will make these flowers stay white. But how do you get like a lot of these little ones? I could do this and cut these like all day long. It would take me so long to fussy cut all of these parts out to mask them. Now there is such a thing as a masking fluid or they call it drawing gum. I did not have masking fluid and I thought, well, surely I can make my own masking fluid so that I can cover this up. So. I Googled it and this person, Sunshiny Day on YouTube three years ago, showed how to do it with deodorant. This is crazy, but it actually did work. So I took a little bit of tin foil and a little bit of deodorant and put it in here. <laughs> I'm bringing in my candle. And if someone walks in while you're doing this, I don't know what they're gonna think you're doing, but <laughs> it actually does work. You wanna leave some air around and not completely cover it because it'll just snuff your candle out. But it's amazing how fast the deodorant melts in here. Very, very quickly. You need a little paintbrush, something like that. And as this melts, you pick up <laughs> the deodorant with the little paintbrush and you can paint it on um, wherever you don't want the ink to go. So it's going to create a mask with the deodorant. Now, as I was doing this, I felt like it was kind of hard to spread and it did work, but then I thought, well, why couldn't I just use candle wax? Because that kind of does the same thing. And I don't know if anybody has tried this before, but it actually works great. So you're just gonna paint on any place that you don't want the ink to go. Just don't catch your little brush on fire. I did that a couple times. And very lightly paint that in. So actually I put a mask up here. I'll just use this here. Just cover that in right there. And you could do it for this hole, but it'd be a lot. You'd need a bigger paintbrush. But I just want a few of these to stay white, so I'm just gonna paint <laughs> this on with the candle wax. And honestly, I liked it better than the deodorant. The deodorant smells nice though. <laughs> you get some ocean breeze scent on your card, and that's kinda nice. And I know you can't see anything because it's clear, but it's actually just putting this wax right on the top of it. Okay, you're gonna let that dry. And now we're going to add the color on here. I'm using Daffodil and the new Parakeet Party Green, or you could use Green Galore. And this is actually the new Tahitian Tide, but it actually came out looking Bermuda Bay. So that's the color card I put that on. So this dries fast. In fact, it dried much faster than the deodorant did. And you don't have to mess with the tin foil. You just kind of let your candle drip and you can pick that up. So this is dry and it's nice and hard. So we can bring in our ink colors and do a little bit of sponging on here. So I have some on the, the butterfly and I have it on the flower and I have it here and here. The paper mask is right here. We're gonna start with yellow. And if you don't have the brushes, that's fine. Just use sponges. They work great too. I have about six of these in, in the main colors, so they are really nice. So just roll that over, go into the green right here. Now doing this ombre is not new. You know, we, we love to do these ombre sponging techniques. And if you want to, you could always Use a Versamark pen and a little white embossing powder, but it'd be very tedious to color all that in. Some other things that I tried also, I tried a white gel pen, it was okay. I tried my chalk marker, which you can see here, it's just barely white over top of that. That didn't work so great. I tried painting with white ink and a little paintbrush. So it's just kind of soft. It's, it's not really as bold or bright as I wanted. All right, let's do the blue on the bottom. And you know, it's just fun to play. I just like experimenting and seeing what works. Okay, 
And there's the Tahitian Tide. I went stronger on these colors just to see what they look like. Now you need something to scrape off the candle wax. So our mask is gonna come off like that. And watch this. The wax just, <laughs> just comes off like that, just scrapes off. Now you can use a bigger scraper, um, like this metal ruler works great if you have a lot to scrape off. And there goes that wax. Does a pretty good job. And then just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of yellow in the middle of these flowers with that, this is Daffodil Delight watercolor pencil. Oh, I forgot to scrape this off up here. There we go. Gotta get all of the, all of that off. Yeah, gotta have a, I think a bigger scraper or a spatula. Get everything off of there. Isn't that cool? Good old candle wax, who knew? And I think I will put just a little bit of yellow, just a little bit. I wanna make it mostly white, but just a little bit of yellow here, there. And then peel these off. You can use these over and over again. I got about four cards before I felt like I needed another one. Just remember the order that you put these on. <laughs> if you go in order around, because they overlap a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, love those bright colors. Tropical. So you can see here, I added, I trimmed this down just a hair so that I could add a little black cardstock border and then put it on the Bermuda Bay. And then I embossed white sentiment, which I got from the framed occasions right here. That will be available May 3rd also. And on a little black banner just to kind of make it pop and a little bit of the fine tip glue in the middle for some shine. That's it. I hope you give it a try, it really is fun. If you have black and white paper or you make your own, I think it's just fun to play and color and see what you can come up with. All right, we'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.